let's see the final trailer for Zelda. She is pretty. Does Link have a fake arm or is that a glove or what is that? I don't know what that is. I mean, like looking at all of this, <laughs> it's it's such a weird feeling. I don't even know how to really express it. I played so much Breath of the Wild, like so much. I love that game. I still love that game. I'll play it all the time if I if I can. I love Breath of the Wild. My fear for this is that I'm going to go into it and I really want to have the same experience. I want to just lose myself in it, get lost for hundreds of hours once again. But I really fear that it's just going to feel like a big DLC. I think that there's cool stuff they're adding, like, you know, the fusion stuff, the um, floating islands and lands and all of that. I just don't know if that's going to be enough. You know, it actually weirdly stresses me uh, about it. Like, it, it weirdly worries me more than it should. But I just, I don't know. There's just something about it that I'm... I'm worried about. Oh, I've watched this trailer before, Defeater. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm saying this in view of all of this. <laughs> Look at the her. Look at the her. Zelda, we rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Link. Sucks to suck. Not what I expected to have. Breath of the Wild mixed with Kerbal Space Program, but I'm about it. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. Look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. Okay, let's go! But you are not alone. Link. You are our final hope.
Link. You must find me. Pretty fire. Pretty fire. Ooh. Uh, Devil-Eyed Elvis. Thank you, my friend, for the 20. Money for the Munchkin Fund. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Love it. Devil-Eyed Elvis super chatted $20. Money for the Munchkin Fund. I mean, I'm just... I don't know. I, I, I still insist... I'm a little concerned. Um, not because it looks bad. The game looks great. But again, if I'm just talking purely about my experience playing a crap ton of Breath of the Wild, everything from the art style being similar to um, some of the core uh, like combat systems being identical or very, very similar, that stuff just starts to, to concern me that I'm not going to get the same feeling this time around. But it's like... It, it's the same feeling as like playing the a crap ton of The Witcher 3 and then playing The Witcher 4 and hoping that you've have that same feeling or playing a ton of Red Dead Redemption and then hoping that Red Dead Redemption 2 can live up to that same feeling, right? It's it's the same kind of concern and like stress where you're like I just want to feel that magical feeling again and you're hoping beyond hope that you have that same feeling difference between like Red Dead 1 and 2 is that of course it's like a generational leap so Red Dead 1 compared to Red Dead 2 Red Dead 2 is able to do a ton of stuff Red Dead 1 wasn't able to do just technologically speaking graphically speaking everything um whereas Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom are similar so we'll see we shall see but damn it looks good and the music goes so hard. Like, it goes hard, man. He took my thing. <laughs>